Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here and it's question 12 of the Disney Drawing Challenge which was to draw your favourite wedding or wedding outfit and I really wanted this question to be in the challenge because I really wanted to draw Jasmine and Aladdin from the third uh, sequel movie, Aladdin and the King of Thieves because I love that movie and I really love just the wedding. Everything about that wedding I just really loved. It, it was so pretty because it was at night and it was all lit by candles and the whole movie was about them kind of struggling to get their wedding done and and I don't know, it was just the feel the feel of that wedding was just so romantic and sweet and I just I really liked it. So yeah, so I really wanted to do Aladdin and Jasmine. And yeah, actually after I started working on this picture, it kind of dawned on me that there's not actually that many Disney weddings that I could think of. Um so it'd be interesting to see what other people do for this day because like going off the top of my head there's there's Ariel and Eric's wedding and there's Eric and Vanessa and there's Rapunzel and Flynn because they did that that Disney short where they got married and there's kind of Kovu, Kovu and Kiara from Lion King 2 I kind of count that as a wedding just because they had to walk down the Isle of Lions together so I count that as a wedding <laughs> even though they're animals that's that's counting in my book and then there's Cinderella and there's Robin Hood and Maid Marian um and then also the the uh I think his name was Prince Edward from the Disney Enchanted um live action slash animated movie so those are kind of the only weddings that I can really think of so there's not actually all that much choice so anyway it'll be interesting to see what people do for this day and maybe people will like uh, experiment and create their own wedding for their favorite characters perhaps who knows it'll be interesting to find out so yeah I did Aladdin and Jasmine and originally I was going to do um like the complete full background and have the candles and the the I want to say gazebo-y thing that they stand under. I'm sure that's not the right word for it, but it was like a sticky-uppy, round, thingy-what's-it, archway doodah that they uh, that they stand under and the drapes and, and everything. And then when it came to actually doing this picture, I just, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't face it. I couldn't face it. I wanted to do something easier and slightly more relaxing. So I just did Aladdin and Jasmine themselves instead of doing all the the detailed backgrounds instead I just put my my chalk pastel background in instead I'm not entirely sure that I like it it looks very orangey when it's finished I I don't know like hmm, I, I don't know there's something I'm not 100% with it like happy with it but I was also trying to do slightly more realistic kind of skin tones and faces um and experiment with that because also something I really struggle with is to draw fo faces in profile so that was something else I was experimenting with for for this for this day to make it a challenge um so yeah it was interesting I've seen this movie so many times Aladdin and the King of Thieves because I love it it is really one of my most favorite Disney movies and I've watched it so many times but when I was um trying to get screenshots of their wedding at the end of the movie I I noticed something really weird that I'd never noticed before even with the countless amount of times that I've watched that movie and that's that there's this guy in the crowd during the celebration when they're all cheering and I swear he turns into E.T. because his neck it like elongates so it becomes like, it, it grows like by a foot and then it just kind of bounces up and down. His neck kind of just goes really long and short and long and short. It's so weird. Like every time I watch that scene now, I just see this guy with his head bobbing up and down and it's it's so creepy. It's like, how did E.T. get in the wedding? Because it's not normal. Necks aren't supposed to bend like that. But there'll be a, I'll put a screenshot in so that you can see what I'm referring to because it's so weird that I've watched that movie so many times and I never noticed it until I paused it to try and get screenshots um yeah so anyway um I hope you like my Aladdin and Jasmine picture and here's the screenshot of the weird neck look at it it's all creepy and strange um and thanks for watching please go and check out Berry Zem and Sam Be Awesome and all their videos and the pictures they're doing for this challenge and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon bye